All right, so sadly, I blew a head gasket in my daily, but Brian Tooley Racing is helping me out by sending me head gaskets and some head bolts. So I'm gonna show you guys how quick and how easy it is to swap head gaskets on a, I guess, 99 to 06 Silverado or Sierra with a 4.8 or 5.3. So first off, I'm gonna start by removing the battery or disconnecting the battery, and then go ahead and start disconnecting a bunch of the electrical system, pull the air intake off, uh, drain the coolant, stuff like that. But I'm gonna jump to a time lapse and uh, you guys can see the whole process. So the guys in the shop told me that I couldn't get the head off in under two hours. And Ryan, how long did it take me? Uh, what, like an hour? 59 yeah, minutes. Yeah, look at the mess you made and your <laughs> hey, hands are hey. torn. Good God. There's a little bit of cooling under there, <laughs> yeah, but. Yeah, you made a mess. Nah, <laughs> it's fine, hey, but. Good job, we'll <laughs> you now. The, uh, the head is off. Um, I kind of gouged the head gasket, taking it off. So I can't really tell where it was exactly leaking from. I think it was leaking right at around this little tip, which is where I saw when I was looking, when everything was still together and running. But the order of operations for taking a head gasket off kind of vary with uh, who you are and what you want to do first. I decided to start by disconnecting the battery, undoing the uh, cold air intake or like the air intake. And then I really focused on everything on the intake side of things. So I unplugged all of the injectors, all of the different connectors, undid all the vacuum hoses uh, front and back, um, disconnected fuel, like I said, uh, took the air intake off, and then was able to get to all of the bolts that go into the head, and then that popped off. I then focused on taking valve cover and all the coils off, which led me to the rockers. So I took all the rockers off, pulled out all the push rods, and then moved on to the exhaust. And I undid the header on it, or the manifold, and then was able to get in there and just barely be able to get to the head bolts. But if you could pull the manifold off, getting to the head bolts is a lot easier. But took the head bolts off, um, and there it was, you know. I was able to get everything off and still have the head in good shape. I had to take the... Uh, gaskets off of the exhaust or like off of the manifold and then obviously the head gasket came off so now i'm waiting on btr to send me a new head gasket and then new uh, exhaust gasket along with new head bolts so one thing that you want to remember is that the head bolts are torqued to yield and so yes these still look good and yes i'm sure they would be fine but why not just do it right so i'm going to get new head bolts torque them all to yield and then the um, bolts for the rockers, they should all still be okay. All the intake bolts, intake gaskets, since they're O-rings, you can see down there, they should still be okay. Valve cover gasket should still be uh, pretty good. It's still on there. I think this is still the original one. So yeah, like I said, just going to get the head resurfaced at Calvert Precision Engines and then slap it all back together once I get all the gaskets and head bolts. So as you can see, I just got the head back from uh, Calvert Precision Engines and you can see how nice and shiny it is now and how clean it is, honestly. So the reason I wanted to get it resurfaced is because this head has come off once before in the past and I didn't get it resurfaced. And I think that the head gasket didn't seal right because there might've been some imperfections. It might not have been true throughout the whole thing. So they machined it down a little bit and now it gives a perfect mating surface for the gasket that's all smooth shiny and nice i also paid them to just clean up the head some and so you can see all the valves and everything are super shiny nice and pretty so now this thing is ready to go back on i'm waiting on all my parts from brian Tilly racing shout out ty peak over there because he's really helped me out on 
um, getting all the parts for this thing in a timely manner. So this thing is ready to go back on and hopefully, like I said, have the parts tomorrow and she'll be back in the truck. I just wanted to say thank you so much to Brian Tooley Racing and Ty Peak over there at Brian Tooley Racing for sending over all of these different gaskets, which won't go on the truck right now, but will be great for spares um, or if anything happens in the future. But this is just absolutely astonishing, like how many different little gaskets, rear main seal, intake gaskets, uh, exhaust gaskets, water pump gaskets, um, all of these different gaskets that I'll be able to use in the future. I'm gonna start by getting some Scotch-Brite and some Brite Clean, cleaning up the deck surface so that the head gasket has something really nice and smooth to mate to. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take uh, this manifold out just so that it's easier to put the bolts in and torque everything down. Probably spray some Brite Clean and clean up all the uh, valley cover and stuff too. Then something that's always good to check, look down in to the heads, make sure nothing fell down in there. Um, you never know what could happen when you're taking stuff off and it's better to just be sure that there's nothing falling into your motor. Got the uh, deck surface all cleaned up and then laid in this new gasket. They make it really nice by putting the word front where the front needs to go. So. Um, it's kind of idiot proof. Uh, so cleaned up the deck surface, laid this down. Now I'm going to just spray the surface of the head with some brake clean. Make sure that there's no contaminants on it anywhere that the head gasket will land. And so hopefully I will have a sealed up head gasket and not a linking one again. The uh, head laid down all nice. And now I'm going to go ahead and take these bolts and thread each one down by hand first, um, just hand tight. And then I will take you guys through the torque sequence that these torque to yield LS bolts need to actually fully seat the head against the gasket and against the block properly so that you won't have any more leaks. So as far as torque sequence goes, I printed off this little cheat sheet to show you um, which order to tighten the bolts down in. And if you want to take a screenshot of that, this is great information to have in the future. So next I'm going to use the same sequence and torque them all to 25 or sorry, 22 foot pounds. And then I will let you guys know what the other order of um, torquing it to yield sequence is after I get that done. All right, so I did the torque sequence uh, like I showed you guys on the paper and then torqued all of them to 22 foot pounds to start out with. And then for the torque to yield, did a pass on all of them, uh, 90 degrees, then went back through and did all of them to 50 degrees. And then just made sure that all of the top bolts were still at 22 foot pounds. So next I'm gonna go ahead and throw in the push rods and then the rocker arms, which are laying over here with everything else. So. And I'll just have to go in and torque all of the uh, rocker arms down. So I got all the push rods in, all the rocker arms on, torqued all of those to 22 foot pounds, and then threw the valve cover on it just so I don't get anything in there. So now I'm gonna go through, check to make sure that there's nothing down in any of these intake ports, um, and then probably set the intake on, then throw the exhaust gasket on, or the, uh, exhaust manifold gasket on, tighten that up, and then start assembling all of the top end of the engine. So you can see all these wires and stuff that you wanna really make sure are tucked out of the way. And then you have like the knock sensor wires that try your best to just make them go down in this groove and stay. If you put a little bit of electrical tape or something on it, I don't think it'll be the end of the world. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do all that first throw the gasket in the exhaust and tidy up all of that. All right, so after a couple of hours, it is all back together. So just fired it up. Everything was good. I had a little bit of a leaky fuel line, so I tightened that up, but I've just been uh, kind of heat cycling it, getting the coolant level down, refilling it, you know, trying to bleed all the air out of the system. But the new Brian Tooley Racing head gasket, it's doing well, so.
can't thank those guys enough. Again, you know, they have everything that you need if you blow a head gasket on your 99 to 06 Silverado Sierra, Yukon, Tahoe, whatever it may be. They have everything to fix it. So go over to BrianTooleyRacing.com and order the same parts I did, which is head gasket, head bolts, exhaust gasket, and coolant, of course, which you can get from your local auto parts store. So I'm going to uh, heat cycle this a couple more times, make sure that the coolant level stays up, that there's no more leaks, and then take it around the building a couple of times and then drive it home.